Hello everybody, this is a revision for social science year two, units one and two, the first term. This is the book, you need your book, social science uh, year two, two, not one, okay? And we are going to do a little bit of the picture dictionary and then we are going to do uh, the review. Let's go to the picture dictionary first. In the picture dictionary we have the earth here, the moon orbiting the earth and one star. This would be the sun which is in the middle of the solar system and these here are going to be different planets. This is the solar system. We have uh, here the Sun. Then we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Those are the planets in the solar system. Remember we also talked about day and night. When it's day here, it's night here. And when it's night here, it's day here. Why? Because the Earth rotates. The earth rotates. And remember, in the morning, very early in the morning, is sunrise. Then at 12 o'clock, more or less, is midday. The sun is there, up there. And then in the evening, we have the sunset. So sunrise, midday, and sunset. And we also have seasons. Remember that the earth is not a straight, the earth spins and this causes the seasons. It rotates and it takes 365 days to make a complete rotation. In this rotation we are going to have spring, summer, autumn and winter the four seasons. Then we are going to answer the questions about this population chart. And we are going to go to a village, well, first of all, we are at page 34, 3, 4. Look at this chart. This chart is about a village that is called Summertown. Male population are boys and men and female population are girls and women. Elderly, so people who are old, 16. Adults, 20. And young, 8. Remember we are talking about male, boys and men. And then female population in Summertown, elderly, 22. Adults, 16. And young, 12. How many people live in Summertown? What do we have to do to know the people who live in Summertown? We have to add 16 and 20, that's 36, and 8. So you have to do the addition, okay? How many people live in Summertown? Let's do it. We have 16. 20 and 8 male and these are going to be 14 here I take 1 and do 2 and 1 3 and 1 4 44 male people and now how many female people 22 16 and 12 and the total number is going to be 2, 1, 2, 4 and 6, 10 and I take 1, 2, 2, 4 and 1, 50 girls. So the, the people who live in Summertown are 
44. Male plus 50. Females. And this equals 44 and 50 equals 94. 94 people. 94 people. Okay, is that clear? Let's go to question number two. How many young people live there? And we have young males, eight, eight. And young female, young, 12. And this equals 8. Oh, sorry, 12. 12, 12, 12. 12. Okay, remember it's a 12. I cannot fix it because if I fix it, everything will disappear. 8 and 12 is going to be 20. 20 young people, okay? 20 young people. Let's go to the next question. How many older women? Older women. So do we have to look at this? These are male. No. Do we have to look at this? These are female. Yes. Elderly, adults or young? Elderly, and we have 22 elderly female, 22, 22, and now, how many adult men are there, and we go to women, no, female, no, we go to male, and we go to adults, and we have 20. 20. Are there more young boys than girls? Let's look at the boys and the girls. Young boys. Young boys. Eight. Young girls. 12. So are there more young boys than girls? No. There are more young girls than boys. Which is the biggest group? Okay, now we have to go to the biggest number. Look at the numbers. We have 16, 20, 8, 22, 16 and 12, which is the biggest number? 22. So the biggest is elderly female. Elderly female is the biggest group. Elderly female. And we are going to put it like this. Elderly female. E, F. And which is the smallest group? Which is the smallest group? Let's go. We have 16, 28, 22, 16 and 12. Which is the smallest? 8. Young male. Young male. So young uh, boys. Young men. Is this clear? So from this, in, from this chart that you have here, you can get lots and lots of information about a population of a place. This you will do in year three, four, five, and six. So don't panic if you think it's difficult. Page 35. Three, five. Look at the sentences and circle the correct answer. I'm going to read it and then I will correct. But first you do it, okay? Where does 
does the light of the moon come from? Does it come from the sun or from the earth? What gives us the seasons? Why do we have the seasons? Because of the earth rotation or because the earth orbits around the sun? What do you think? A or B? And why do we have day and night? Is it because of the earth rotation or the earth orbit around the sun? I will tell you. The light of the moon comes from the sun. The sun, because the earth doesn't have any light, the earth gets light from the sun as well, okay? So the light from the moon comes from the sun. We have seasons, not because the earth rotates. Because the earth rotates, we have day and night. It's because the earth orbits around the sun. That's why we have seasons. And we have day and night because of the earth rotation. Is that clear? Let's go to number four. Write the name of the planets in the correct order. What can you do? Either you remember you have all of them here, Earth, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Neptune, Saturn, Uranus, and Venus. Venus. Or you can go to page 23. At page 23, you have the order of the planets, okay? I will give you the answer. So don't worry. I will, I'm going to show you the answer. You, so you do it and then you correct. Pause the video, do it, and then we correct. And this is the correction. Let's go to activity five. Match the sentence halves and number the pictures. Look at the four pictures, okay? When I can see the whole moon, when I can see the whole moon, it's a new moon, a waning moon, a waxing moon, or a full moon. When I can see the whole moon, is a full moon. It's this one, okay? A number one. So you here you write number one. When I can't see the moon at all, which would be this, here you, we couldn't be able to see the moon. This is very easy. It's called new moon. New moon. Okay, and then you have two that in Spanish are very easy. Cuarto creciente, cuarto menguante. But in English, it's, difficult. it's different. It's waning moon and waxing moon. So, when I see the left part of the moon, the left part of the moon is a waning moon, a waning moon. And this would be number three. And when I see the right part of the moon is a waxing moon. Number four. In Spanish, this would be cuarto menguante and this would be cuarto creciente. Because remember I told you in the classroom that the moon is a liar. When it says C, cuando hace la C no crece, decrece. Y cuando hace la D no decrece, sino que crece. Porque es una mentirosa. Well, this is something that we say in Spain. This is revision for units one and two. And on Monday, we will start with the, with unit three. Bye-bye.